my loves, what is up? How y'all all doing today? Hope you're all having a great day and you know what I always say. If you're not having a great day, well, you better get it together. Today, I'm very excited because we are going to be doing a build, y'all. Okay, your girl's been doing a little bit of renovations and all of a sudden she thinks she's a builder. I know. I don't know why. I just lately I've been really wanting to build and just kind of like... I don't know it's very fun and like free and some of them I even film and don't even freaking put up because it's a mess and I'm like oh girl this is not cute but this is actually a build that I felt you know semi-confident in um, and this is actually a little land playscape now for me personally as a sims 3 simmer i know that we are very fortunate to have a lot of great things for children and toddlers and teenagers and just so many different cool you know things like prom and all that we get that okay but yeah i thought it would be really fun to just kind of add another activity for your kids and your toddlers to be able to do now this is friendly to all ages but i kind of more so went towards toddlers and children and yes there is custom content in this specific lot. The only reason why I use custom content is because I feel like for me to add enough stuff for toddlers, I did kind of need to delve into a couple of custom content items. And trust me, you guys are gonna like it. And it does come with the lot already, but I will also have the CC either linked down below or I'll do like a text file with all the CC. I'm not 100% sure yet. So yeah, this isn't going to be like your usual, like energetic, okay, usual girl that y'all usually be getting, all right? I'm going to be honest, I'm tired, <laughs> like extremely, extremely tired. I don't know what's been going on with me lately, but I've just been really tired. And I think it's because I don't get enough sleep. Obviously, that has to be the only reason because your girl can't seem to get a solid sleeping schedule. It seems like even when I do go to sleep early, I still wake up really early. And even if I go to sleep late, I still wake up really early. And it's just natural. And lately, I've been staying up really late and getting up really early. Like, we're talking like really early. The other day, guess what time I got up? At three o'clock. Why? We don't know. What did I do when I got up at three o'clock? I took a shower. I ate some egos. I had a full on cup of coffee. Like I was having the time of my life at three in the morning while most people would have been sleeping. I, I just don't know why. I don't know why. And I probably went to bed at maybe like 10 and I woke up at three in the morning. I can never explain my logic. Okay, anyways, girl, nobody cares about what I gotta say. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this build here. Um, yeah, so I actually had my friends vote on what color that they wanted the exterior to be because I couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to do with that. It was kind of a weird color scheme that I feel like kind of worked. And originally I was gonna keep it in red. And then as I kept going, I was like, ooh, girl, like that's not gonna look cute. Like we need to do something a little bit different than the red it's not cute so then I did green and then I was like oh my god I really love the green and then my friends were like no we like the blue and I was like huh I kind of like the blue too honestly and I think the blue actually turned out really really nice um with the whole layout of the with lot. the driveway I kind of wanted to go for something a little bit more simple but I am so obsessed with these flowers lately, the white ones, just so obsessed. I actually did a couple of other builds, I know, the ones I've been practicing off camera, um, and I always use those flowers so much. Both of the white flowers, I'm a freaking obsessed with, so I thought they re looked really cute in this lot, and you can see I have like a huge obsession with them because I'm using them so freaking much. But anyways, we're talking about the driveway. With the driveway, I kinda wanted to go for something a little bit simpler. Um, I didn't add as many flowers, as before but I still added a lot because I wanted to kind of keep it very innocent and like childlike I guess and the download as I said before will be down below so if you guys do want to download it send me pictures girl because I like pictures if you you know use it in like I don't know your regular regular gameplay and your family goes here girl let me see the pictures I want to see all the tea okay um, if you gonna have your wedding here that'd be kind of weird don't have your sims wedding here that's yeah i don't maybe in the parking lot i don't know that's kind of weird could you imagine somebody having like a wedding at a play place i don't you could do it you know nobody's judging sis get them decorations but i'm just saying um anyways 
I thought that it would be really cute to add like this little playground at the front. At first I wasn't gonna do it, but I actually saw a build. If I can find it, I'll link it down below because she kind of did influence this fence design as well. Um, the She did like a playground in a, I think she did a coffee shop build and she did a playground in that coffee shop build and it was so, so cute. And I kind of wanted to do that and utilize it in my build. And I did watch a, oh my God, I watched so many freaking build videos. It's ridiculous. And I wish I could freaking link everybody down below, but I watched so many. You guys, I literally go to sleep watching build videos. I'm not kidding. It's a problem. If you guys saw my history, it, it's embarrassing. It really is. Um, I'd be waking up at like three in the morning hearing Kiwi Simming's voice in, my, in the background as I wake up. No, but I seriously have a build video obsession lately but anyways so yeah she did a very beautiful coffee shop build and it was absolutely amazing i wish i wish i could reach that level like that's my goal at the end of 2021 because like sis let's be realistic here okay um that's my goal at the end of 2021 to reach that level of building skill like she's so insane i will leave her video link down below i will find it I will find it in my history of 200 <laughs> build videos. I will find her. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I am working on the playground area and just kind of adding in the little things. I am, oh, I love those freaking plants. They're so cute. Like they're so underrated. I love these plants so much. They are the cutest. Um, I know it's really random, but I just can't freaking, oh, so obsessed with these plants. And oh my god, as I said, if you guys want to check out her builds, I will have them linked down below. Magnificent. Okay, like magnificent. That's actually how I got this whole fence design. It's so cute. Like, ah, uh, I never thought that those two would mix together, but they look so cute. So yeah, but anyways, so um, I kind of decided midway because I was watching build videos as I was doing this that I really wanted to do something extra in the back because I did have a couple of toddler pools and stuff that I had downloaded and I also had a inflatable thing that I had downloaded as well and I was like, girl, we finna add this in. Like there's no excuses. We can't put it inside because our kids are gonna be jumping through the roof. So we're gonna put it outside. So that's exactly what I did. I made sure that the lot was big enough so then I would have enough space to do the back part. And I was like, yes, I was very excited. I'm not gonna lie. Once I came up with that, I was like, okay, we're gonna do it. Um, but yeah, so I really like that part. I think it was actually my favorite part of this entire build. And this part right here was atrocious. I cannot believe that I was gonna change what I initially had to change the the front because that was not cute that was not a not a cute decision i shouldn't have done that um but yeah so anyways now i'm zooming in and out like a crazy person trying to decide exactly what i want to do because it takes me three hours to film this video i'm not even kidding it was this is three hours of footage that's how long this took me sis like that's pretty long time um but yeah that's only the footage that i didn't delete from before so this is all like cut out stuff but anyways um yeah i am now going into the inside now the inside that was a struggle because i didn't know if i wanted to go very kiddish with the inside um because most playscapes when you go there it's very very colorful and yeah that looks great in real life but sometimes in the sims you like girl no like it's almost too much it hurts your eyeballs you know and i feel like if i were to do it in the sims it wouldn't look as cool I guess I don't know I I don't know it was just my vision so I kind of wanted to do something very class I thought it would be a very cute idea for every single maybe like holiday you know in the sims that you could actually change the theme of the lobby so right now I kind of wanted to go for a very like moonlight kind of starry night sky vibe and then you know maybe once the fall hits then i'll do something maybe more halloweeny so then the lobby would always change and kind of go with the season and always be different and then the when you walk inside it's the same old same old you know now i don't know if everybody's gonna want to go in and do that but i probably will in my gameplay and stuff just because i feel like it would be really really cute 
But yeah, I work on this for like 9.2 seconds and then I go on into the outside part. Um, a lot of these pieces are cut out because it took me, it takes me forever to build, as I said. So I have to cut out a lot of clips because if not, it's just going to be me literally with random pauses on one particular spot because that's what I do a lot of the time. I'll literally just sit there for like 30 minutes and look at the screen and just pause and be like, what the heck am I going to do next? But girl we don't want to see all that so <laughs> anyways um yeah a lot of it's going to be cut off but i do a lot of switching back and forth of like going to work on the outside and then being like okay i'm lost i don't know what to do and then going back to the inside and i do that quite a bit so that's how we work that's how we do so anyways um this inflatable clowny thingy is actually usable usable is that the correct word i don't know i was gonna say edible but that's definitely not the correct word it is not edible okay um it, it you can use it and you can actually put the trampoline inside of it and then the sim would jump on it as if they were jumping on a regular trampoline so it's really really cool and i will probably attach a little clip so you guys can see exactly what it looks like um but it's really interesting and um yeah, I really enjoyed it and I thought it was really cute. So I'm really excited for my Sims to be able to use it in my Let's Plays and hopefully for you guys' Sims to use it. And I will have it linked down below if you guys want to download it separately from everything else. But um, anyways, yeah, right now I'm adding in a couple of signs and stuff because I realized I didn't have a lot of, ooh, my voice cracked. I realized I did not have a lot of kid-friendly type of um, wallpaper, so that kind of sucks uh all my wallpap is a little crazy um and it's not very kid friendly so i was like oh i'm acting like i literally have like sim nudes on my wallpaper or something like it's so top secret and nobody else can know um but anyways i actually ended up adding in brick because i like the brick look on the outside and i felt like it would have been really cool to have that go on the inside so the brick is all different colors and i think it looks pretty cute okay I did try to kind of keep with a particular color scheme and your girl went a little bit wild I went a little bit wild all right um, not only did I add the pool area which I don't think that I add until later because I'm not seeing it just from where we are in this particular uh, part of the video I'm not seeing it but I add a little toddler pool area and it is so cute and you guys will see it very soon um, but on top of that I added in a sandcastle on the inside and I know it sounds really weird uh, inside sandcastle but honestly it was really hard doing this because there wasn't a lot of child well there's a lot of child stuff but there's not a lot of toddler stuff that they can really do and have fun with um and really a lot of them are like outdoor stuff so for the sand i kind of was like okay well the toddlers can come inside and they can play in the sand and they can do all that cute stuff and then they'll have something to do on the inside and the outside so then it's kind of toddler and child friendly but then the adults can sit down and have coffee and all that stuff because I did add a coffee area and actually right now is the part where I'm adding in the toddler pool now this toddler pool works just like the playpen from the sims 3 store so if you do not have the playpen in the sims 3 store then you're not going to be able to use this item I don't think but I'm not 100% sure so I'll leave a link down below just in case because don't quote me on that um but yeah so anyways i'm adding in the toddler pool and i know the toddler pool is like really random and also your sims are probably going to need to change into their swimwear but i don't think that toddlers can even change into their swimwear in the sims 3 i don't there's still controversy about that anyways um yeah so you can change your toddler sim into their swimwear and then they can swim and have fun and unfortunately there is only two two pools because that's all i could fit in here and I was going to originally put the pools on the inside, but I was like, oh, that'll look kind of weird. So let's just put them on the outside and then they'll be able to kind of hang out with their family members. And you can have toddlers out here. You can have children hopping on the bouncy house. And then you can have the adults chilling and hanging out and sitting and talking and reading a book or doing whatever. Perfect. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I also kind of went for this green theme. I don't, I don't really know why. Um, I guess it's because... It kind of matched with the greenery thing I don't know I should have gone for crazier colors but I think it ended up sort of working out so I'm not too upset with it 
Um, I also added gobos everywhere. I tried to add as many as I could so that you guys would be able to turn them on and then you could do your little thing. Also, the bathroom is not that fantastic. I tried to make it as simplistic as possible because it is a kid's bathroom. Kids' bathrooms are usually very, you know, chill and relaxed, especially when you go to playscapes and stuff like that. So um, I didn't go overboard with like decoration or anything. And also, as I said, there is a quite a bit of custom content in this lot. It's not a lot of custom content, but it's a decent amount. So if you can't, if your computer can't handle it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will try to do a non-CC build eventually if I decide to keep doing public lot builds. Um, but for right now, it's just kind of easier for me to have access to custom content because my voice cracked again. <laughs> you guys, am I losing my voice? Like, I honestly don't know what's going on right now. Like, I have to be losing my voice because in the past couple of videos, my voice has been kind of like not it. And I feel like I'm losing my voice. I don't even know at this point. I I don't even know. Okay, but honestly, I needed an excuse to use blue stalls. Like blue is my favorite color on the entire planet. And I'm not talking about that dark, dark blue that like porta potties are the color, like not that kind of blue. Like love that blue, you know, that's a cute blue, but like we're talking about light blue. Light blue's cute. She cute, baby blue. Oh, oh. It feels like I'm like breaking the law whenever I get something baby blue. You know what I mean? Like it's not supposed like to be. Like people who have like baby blue coffee makers, like I feel like they're breaking the law. Like you're not supposed to have it, you know? It's just like that dirty little secret. Anyways, how did I go from going to toilet stalls into baby my brain anyways right now i'm making a sand castle and well i'm not making it but i'm making like a little sand castle barrier i guess and i just want to say you you got to get rid of all your beliefs about playscapes and what they look like on the inside because this is not going to look anything like it girl we are very restricted so i had to kind of get a little creative on the inside and really decide what was important enough for me to put in and like what would be a good balance between toddler stuff and child stuff and so i tried not to add, add like too many adultish slash child slash you know uh teen stuff like by adding basketball hoops and all that stuff because i still wanted enough space for my toddlers because this is for them too because playscapes are technically for toddlers but i wanted to also add it for children too so anyways i also added a little bubble gum machine in the entrance because i remember when i used to go to playscapes or whatever when i was younger Every kid place, like Eva, always had a bubblegum machine. Like, if you didn't have a bubblegum machine, you wasn't it. I'm just saying. That's just the truth. Anyways, um, but yeah, so right now I'm adding in a dining area. I thought it was really important to have a spot for adults to kind of chit chat and, you know, catch up sip a little tea do they do's okay so i decided to add in a little seating area kind of like chuck e cheese has where they have like a specific area although you're still stuck with kids but they kind of have like an area for adults sort of not really kind of um so yeah i wanted to add that kind of area for adults to just kind of hang out i didn't really add any food per se like i didn't add any seasons type of stuff you can order like bagels and donuts um basically what you would be able to get from a regular coffee shop i thought it would have been really interesting to add a pizza but i just didn't have the space because for me to just have to add a separate kitchen and everything else didn't have enough room and i wanted this lot to still be small enough where people could still download it even with the amount of custom content you'd still be able to enjoy it, possibly. I didn't want a huge lot with a huge amount of custom content, okay? So, um, anyways, yeah. Um, I'm now working on, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm deciding on the coloring for the dining area, because I think I wanted to go for a blue-green kind of thing, because I've kind of been going for this theme. I've been sticking to more bluish greens, yellows, things like that, so I kind of wanted to stick to that, but I also couldn't change the table color and I kind of realized that sooner rather than later uh, but I decided to keep it because I think it looked really cool with the cactuses and I actually really like these cactuses they are so freaking cute they have little faces on them you guys little faces how cute all right and I think they just made everything pop and look so adorable together so I had to keep it 
Um, and then yeah, I added a little barista stand as well. And in the entrance, there is a barista stand and I was gonna add a reception area, but really like, or like a register and stuff. But that would have been a waste because like what could you have possibly gotten from the register in t ways you might as well stick with the coffee machine because you could like walk in get yourself a cup of coffee you know to deal with the children and then walk in enjoy the children absorb them and then take another sip of coffee because you need some more energy to deal with your children um but yeah i got i got your sims hooked up and planned and everything all good to go but anyways yeah right here is where i was really lost because i did not know what i wanted to add like i was like girl what am i gonna do because at this point i was your girl was really lost <laughs> like i really just didn't know um but i ended up deciding that i think it would have been a really good idea to add in sort of an idea of what a playscape would be if you guys have been to Chuck E. Cheese you know that in Chuck E. Cheese they have like a slide thing in there and then you go up the slide and there's like all this crazy stuff you go through those things used to scare the crap out of me when I was a kid anyways it's not the point they're there and um, I wanted to create that but a really lame version in The Sims because literally all I did was just add a regular slide in the game and say that it's creative um but yeah that's what i ended up doing i was gonna do a little play area but i just felt like that's stuff that they could do at home you know not all of my sims children have sand castles in the inside of their house i'm just saying you know you can only do that at this particular lot so bring your kids now um but yeah i am working on that as well i try not to make the inside too cluttered because you guys know i'm a clutter freak but i tried to lay off the clutter for a little bit because i know some of you guys are like girl chill up with the clutter so i tried to de you know declutter a little bit this is still like very cluttered but this is my version of decluttering so don't judge me um anyways yeah i am think i'm adding in the boxes but then i realized that that's not what i wanted so i don't even know where i was going with this like I really wanted it to be a daycare kind of thing, but I was like, no, how is that gonna work? And then I decided to put little animals on the outside because I realized that that was a really cool toddler aspect that you can add in is you can have uh, your toddlers ride those little rides and it just kind of added something you know, extra special for my tots. But I went back to this because I needed to take a break for a second. I do that a lot whenever I'm building. I'm like, okay, let me take a break from this, go work on this, and I'll come back with a fresh and new brain and a new potential idea. Or I come back with nothing and I just give up. But um, anyways, yeah. So I'm adding in the flooring. This freaking, <laughs> I'm so bad at voiceovers. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I don't really know what else to say. But anyways, I'm adding in a slide. Oh, she looks so beautiful. Look at that slide. She's sliding. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm adding in a slide and then I added in the Wacka Gnome game because that, that game to me is the cutest game in The Sims 3, period fight me on it because I will I will win because I can I can argue all day it's the cutest game in the sims 3 um but yeah so I really like it and it's amazing and yeah so I wanted to add it in I was gonna add the basketball game as I said but I felt like it was kind of too you know this is this is supposed to be for toddlers and children okay okay um and also they do have whack a gnome and Chuck E. Cheese so I was like this might work a little bit um but yeah so I'm almost nearing the end here and there are a couple things that I did change and you guys will see that in the pictures but anyways you guys let me know in the comments down below if you like this video if you want to see me do more builds or if you just don't want me to see me build ever again you know what I understand I get it girl I get it um but yeah let me know in the comments down below I love you guys so so very much I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're staying beautiful and cute as ever because y'all always 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 looking cute um but yeah anyways uh yeah I'll see y'all later okay bye <laughs>
secret, yeah, I promise I keep it.